Hi Charms and welcome back to Feminine Allure. This is the first video where I sit down and talk directly to you without a voiceover. So I want to start with a new series which is everyday makeup looks following the 13 body types. So when I'm doing my makeup what I like to do instead of following techniques that are trendy I want to look at my face, my face structure and work with that. So to do that, I actually want to know which structure or which type I fall into. And for that, I am following the 13 body types. If you're not familiar with that, you can check Ali Art's channel. She talks about it or Miriam's style or continue watching the series. So I want to do an everyday makeup look for each body type. And hopefully at the end of the series, I would know which type I fall into. You can also vote down below which makeup suits me, which type you think I belong to, or which type do you connect with. So let's start with a dramatic. Of course, before that, I'm going to start with my skincare routine, but I have a whole playlist on skincare, facial skincare, body skincare, and body care in general. So you can check that out. So I'm just going to skip over the step and come back with a new fresh face. So I am back with a fresh face and of course I'm drinking water because the glow has to come from inside out. <laughs> so I wrote down what the dramatic type looks like and the makeup that suits them. So if you are dramatic you would know yourself because you would have dramatic features and they are very sharp features. Everything is upward and lifted so this look is actually trendy right now because we all want to achieve the foxy eye look also this um, facial trend that is everything is lifted is uh, also trendy and has been trendy for a while but we also want to add some elements to the dramatic so what is actually trendy right now is the soft dramatic features so we want some sharp features for example thin and sharp nose and foxy eyes but we also want plump lips so the trend is actually mixing dramatic and soft dramatic together what i want to do right now is focus on the dramatic alone which consists of vertical lines and sharp features and they are more aligned with masculinity so the yang not the yin the yin is feminine and round the yang is masculine tall and sharp so dramatics actually have a natural contrast without makeup on because they have sharp features you can actually see the shadows let's start with a matte face because that's what suits the most and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick in the shade porcelain i just noticed that i had my lights off the whole time i have a big window here so it's not that bad but for makeup it's good to have my lights on so i'm using the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick in the shade porcelain and i'm gonna apply it on my face you can actually build this up i like to have a medium to sheer coverage for an everyday makeup look but the idea here is to have a matte finish and this is not to say that you should overlook your skin so the type of skin you have for example if you have dry skin and you don't want matte finish this is your choice but for the features of your face, if you have sharp features, then a matte finish would help you hold on to this contrast that you have because we want to play up our features instead of changing them. And the thing is, because I don't have a monitor, I apply my makeup like I do on an everyday basis. So what you see is what you get from me. Like if you see me um, walking down the street, this is what I look like. We actually know that for YouTubers, what we usually do is we apply makeup for camera, which looks a bit more cakey and uh, unnatural in real life. But what I like to do is I actually apply the makeup just like I usually do. And it might look like less on camera because of the light and everything. So this is step number one, which is matte foundation now i'm actually going to powder my face but before that let's play up our structure since dramatics have sharp features for example they have chiseled cheekbones so to achieve that 
I'm going to do a straight line under my cheekbones. Also, they have a tall and sharp nose, so I'm going to contour my nose going straight. And everything else is lifted, so forehead is lifted up, the eye is lifted, so I'm going to contour here, so everything is lifted. As for the highlight, I'm going to use a concealer and I'm going for the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Snow. I'm just going to highlight my nose, the outer corner of my eye. If you want more highlight, you can do the triangle. This fits this face type. But for an everyday makeup look, I'm going to just outline the outer part. A little bit here, underneath, and above here to make my cheekbones pop. Applying some highlight around my lips will also make my lips more sharp. This is what you can do to have sharp features or to emphasize your sharp features because once we apply foundation, our natural shadows uh, decrease a little bit. So to make them come back, to make them more pronounced, we highlight and contour. And now I'm gonna blend everything with my stifling brush. I always blend the uh, highlight portion first, although I'm using one brush to blend them together. You can see that the face structure has already changed. Now this is an everyday makeup look. For me, it's suitable more for going out than sitting at home because I don't want that much product on my face, but that's just personal. But what I want to do since I want everything to look matte is get a powder brush and some powder. And I'm just gonna lightly powder everything starting with the places where I want to highlight and because I want to apply um, powdered contour this will help the product blend well so with the shade and light palette and my contour brush I'm just gonna recreate what I did because as you see when I blend the lines fade and this is something that I want because I want a natural look but I actually also want what I did to show so the structure to actually show so again I'm lifting everything up the corners of the eyes as well the nose cheekbones that's the idea now something else that you can do is get your blending brush and your contour and actually start from where you lifted the eye and then blend inward so you keep the eye lifted okay and now it's time for blending i'm gonna avoid over blending because that's what i usually do but still want a natural look i like to blend in a stifling motion that's it it's a matte face and it's very structured now that the face is done notice that i didn't put any blush or bronzer because this type doesn't need shimmer or doesn't need any um you could say anything that is extra feminine actually does the opposite for them so like curling your lashes applying shimmers too much blush or bronzer actually instead of being more feminine you appear to be more masculine because the yang character is actually clashing with this femininity with this feminine um applications so let's move on to so let's move on to the brows what i like to do first is always brush them and i am doing this technique where i apply my eyebrow gel first so that they stay where i put them they stay in place and then i can just fill in the gaps that's what i do for all the body types but you're gonna see that for the dramatic type very precise and sharp eyebrows almost like the sharpie <laughs> trend is what suits them because of the contrast that it creates so now i'm gonna move on to the pencil and i'm gonna create some hair like strokes still want a natural look but more precise and sharp for added sharpness, I'm going to apply some cream gel. I'm going for the shade 3.5 to add contrast. For the eyelashes, as I said before, you don't need them to be extra curly and bushy and feminine. So these like false lashes that are super um so you know these false lashes that you would apply for a night out 
they are so full and curled it might just not look good on you because of uh, your body type i also want to mention that i have uh, some sharp features in my face because i have lashes that go down and straight so i'm gonna curl them just because that's what i like you know what i'm not gonna curl them because i want to show you that even lashes that are going down suit this body type just because we're adding to that sharpness and go ahead and apply mascara of course the mascara would help your lashes be lifted yes. and since I'm going for this foxy eye lift that is natural as well I'm just applying them on my outer corner so just on the outer lashes I think that the last thing that I want to do is apply lipstick and as a dramatic you can actually play with the contrast like I said and play with um, sharp lips and bright colors but since it's an everyday look what I'm gonna do is apply a natural color but I'm not gonna overline yeah so I'm keeping everything sharp and precise and that's it for this look I hope you enjoy it as you can see applying a ponytail a lowered ponytail actually suits this body type a lot because it's adding the sharpness and it's helping with the contrast so you are still looking elegant without too much feminine um, characteristics feminine products and application and colors <laughs> but i can also let down my hair actually very straight hair suits this body type and the mid part is also very nice. You can see that my hair is still a little bit wavy though. That's the natural wave of my hair.